All right, day one back at Parliament for the year. A bit happening already. Joining me now is Australian Financial Review's political editor, Philip Curry. Thanks for your time. No worries, Tom. The big news, mm. Lydia Thorpe quitting the Greens over The Voice. I don't think it's necessarily a shock, but it's still somewhat of a bombshell. Yes, and, um, I mean, yeah, as you said, it's been coming. She's, you know, she's been vehemently opposed to The Voice, wanting to have a treaty first, and that's basically been at odds with the rest of her colleagues. Um, and uh, they had a retreat last week, uh, the Greens, and it appears they all wanted to support The Voice, except Lydia Thorpe and her being the Indigenous Affairs spokesperson just made it too hard in the end, and, you know, there's, you know, and all, all attempts at compromise clearly failed, so she's, she's marched. So I suspect there'll be relief on both sides. In terms of both, you know, I mean, you know, Senator Thorpe's been more than a handful for Adam Band ever since she came yeah. in last election as a yet another high-profile recruit, um, you know, <coughs> hits the dust. But uh, uh, she's relieved she's not with them and they're probably relieved uh, they're not with her anymore. Yeah, she look, I mean, even from when she first came in, she didn't want to allegedly, initially pledge allegiance to the Queen. There was clearly oh. a discomfort mm. with, her, with mm. her role, I guess. So... That, that I think you're, you're right. There'll be some relief, and Adam Bant mm. hasn't had to try to force mm. her out, which mm. he wouldn't have wanted to have, to have done either. What about the voice, though? Because the, the danger is we know the opposition mm. on the sort of right of politics, I suppose, to the voice. Mm. Whether the opposition on the left grows, is well, that? I, do you think I, that's I don't much know. I, mean, I, don't I think now the Greens will fall in behind the voice. Um, no, I'm not saying they won't, but whether she well, tries to grow this, well, she this element well, well, of Well, it was interesting, Senator Thorpe said in a press conference she hasn't made a final decision know, yet on the yeah. voice, but I, I think you know where she's going to land yeah. now. Um, oh, look, look it's, it's, it's obviously not going to help the yes case, having her out there, one out one, but she'll probably join, you know, the, the, others, the others who have similar oppositions like Warren Mundine and Jacinta Price and others. Um, but that, that, that's her thing. But I think it'll be more benefit to the... Um, to the Albanese government to have the Greens united now behind the yes vote uh, without Senator Thorpe providing distraction. But where it is a problem for the government, Tom, obviously, is it now orders the Senate balance. Mm. So up until now, um, Albanese has needed the Greens plus one, which has invariably often been David Pocock. Now he needs Greens plus two. Yeah, and it can um, still be Lydia Thorpe. It can be, yeah, but yeah. she said, it was interesting, she said, I'll, I'll stick, I'll continue to vote with the Greens on climate, but she didn't talk about the economy or That's superannuation it. or yeah. industrial relations or anything else. So it makes it a little bit harder now for, you know, not severely harder, but it does make it, the government's going to have to work harder now in the Senate. Now we're sort of turning our mind somewhat to the budget and mm. low expectations from the government mm. of what will happen for cost of living because, of course, inflation. Yeah. It's yeah. a difficult thing to land, isn't yeah. it? And, and maybe even with all this money flowing in as mm. well at the same time. Well, that's why there's two things happening. There's um, you know, inflation and uh, interest rates, as we're going to find out tomorrow, are still high. Um, and so the problem that existed in October when the government didn't want to you know, send out cash handouts and all these other things because it will increase the dole because it only make inflation worse. That, according to the Treasurer, still still applies. But at the same time, we're seeing that the government... Uh, sorry, the budget could be back in surplus. If not this year, then next. There's so much revenue coming in. So that's going to stimulate demands for spending. And, oh, look, you're back in surplus. You can do all these things now. So uh, the Treasurer's, you know, sort of sort of trying to hold all these forces at bay at the moment, say, no, I, you know, we've got to be very prudent here because we just, you know, we're not out of the woods yet on, in, yeah. on inflation. With an opposition that mm. says this is the biggest problem for households, mm. correct, yep. um, fix it, that'd be great, but the opposition's not really saying how because <laughs> right well, now, have to, in the short term, <laughs> short term, you can't. can't yeah, you? well, I, mean, I know no today Andrew Taylor was saying, yeah, you've got to strive for a surplus because that sort of helps with these things. I think the government is doing that anyway, but... Um, yeah, everyone will want to be the first to put their hand up and say we're back to surplus. So. Yeah, mm. not in a permanent sense. All right, mm. we, we were going to talk we gas. Know. We might do that next time. Okay, mate. Bill Curry, thank you. Yeah.